that's what we have to do. You know that's what we have to do. Oh, oh, you know when Jacob's Creative Corner is here to talk about all the things that you need. Oh, oh, you definitely need a horse. Oh, yeah, oh. Hello guys, welcome back to Jacob's Creative Corner. And today, we are going to be doing the most thing I have watched. It's a thing about Punky Brewster! Do -do 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 -do! <laughs> Punky Brewster! So, we're back with the Easter eggs and throwbacks. I know I made a first video of this. Make sure you don't miss out on that. So, we're going to make a second video of this. Okay, let me turn the caption on. Holy Macanoli, Punky Brewster is back. Yes, we are back with Every Punky Power. And then you are going to know. And then you are going to know that we're going to be looking back at the 1984 and 2021 Punky Brewster. Now, we have to find out what we're going to do. First, before we get to the Easter egg, we're going to have to read the comments. It says, Brie Boot is lighthearted and positive injection in times like these. Hope, hope gets the second season. I don't know when, but it's very cool. Oh my God. So, I'm... Hi. I started watching Punky Bruce and Wallace in fourth grade. This reboot is so beautiful. There needs to be a stuffed Glomer doll in the background. Improve the app to the homage Saturday morning cartoon. This that, this will be perfection. Yes, yes. I mean, have you ever watched the cartoon It's Punky Brewster in 1985? Let me know in the comment section. You, if you know that if you used to watch the 1985 Punky Brewster cartoon. A few weeks ago, I started watching the show, and it's incredible. I mean, the characters did a fantastic job, and I cannot wait for season two. B2. I don't know when we're going to do it. I'm not a, I don't work for Beacock. <gasps> we can watch this one. Oh, but I want to see Easter eggs. Okay. It's really funny when she starts singing and dancing in the car, and her teenage daughter looks at her like, Punky was a crazy person. I think anyone who grew up in the 80s can relate because kids today look at us like we were crazy. Yeah. I really enjoyed 10 episodes of the first season. Hoping for a second season next. And also, I enjoyed the Fester Hall episodes and Punky meeting TC. So, I hope you have heard of the episode of Fester Hall. So, in Easter egg number eight, we're going to find out, and I'm going to have to type it in. So, let's get on with it. Like all the Easter eggs and throwbacks you'll see in the new Peacock original series, Punky Brewster. Let's get started. You're definitely going to see some familiar faces. Yes, we are. So, Easter egg number one. in the first episode. So, if you guys do know from 1984, you see that this is Punky's dad right here in general. So, we can see that he's in a picture holding a camera. And this is the portrait of the people in the Google images of their show. So, if you guys know, and his name is usually Henry Watermount. In general, you might know what these characters are and what their personality is, but you can definitely look in the old stuff. I found this really interesting. I really want to work with an Easter egg for a while. So, Punky talks to a portrait of Henry, her foster father, played by the late George Gaines. And that was in 1980. Season 2, episode 22 of the original, Henry... Yeah, so... In season two, in the episode episode two of the original, 1984, 
we can see that his dad, her dad is giving Punky a camera. Gives Punky his first camera, hoping she might follow in his footsteps. You can use it for career day. Good news, Henry. She did. Ooh, the tree house. Henry's hat and pipe can also be spotted on the console under Henry's portrait. Yeah. 1984, we can see that, but 1984, Punky's dad and Punky Brewster, 1984, was looking at the pipe and dripping out water. Because, and you guys remember that episode, Punky was cleaning the kitchen in Henry's apartment. So, if you guys know in general, let me know if you know the episodes. You washed my pipes. They were filthy inside. They're supposed to be filthy inside. No. Remember Brandon, Punky's furry companion from. So we can see here that in this 1984. We can see that this is Punky's dog right here named Brandon, a golden retriever from way back in 1984. Way back when? Turns out her love for golden retrievers has not gone away. Me, me Brandy. This is Brandy, Brandy not us. Uh, just a few years older, but she's still got her Punky power. Something yeah, Punky else power. Something Punky didn't leave in 1984. Her mismatched shoes. Mismatched shoes. 1984. Catchphrases. Holy Macanoe. Holy. We told you you'd see some familiar faces, and it doesn't take long for Punky's childhood best friend, Cherry, to join her side. You're my item. I best friend, Cherry, yeah, is on then. Punky's side. You, apartment. you can stay up as late as you want, and you don't have to go to school. Cherry now works at Fenster Hall. The very Okay, here we go. Here we go. So this is Fenster Hall right here. It's an orphanage service where Punky Brewster was at in 1984 when she busted out from. And also, we got to find out because in the in Fester Hall Part 1, we can see that a character named TC, in general, tried to steal Punky stuff. And I think that's going to be the next Easter egg. Children's so, children. I'm afraid we're going to have to stop this right here. <clears throat> So I committed to find out what is the character is going to be. Okay, so what we looked here, so we, we got a lot of real information about this episode in general. You can see that we can find out right here in this Google image. And then we can find out this is TC and Punky right here. And also, if you guys remember the episode, Punky brought TC to her to Henry's apartment for dinner. And and he went to the orphanage and threw a tantrum over there. That Punky was notorious for running away from. Yep, you know. Fenster Hall is also where Punky meets Izzy, a girl not so different from her younger self. Izzy Power! Turns out Izzy is also a professional escape artist. Is the coast clear? Punky is raising her kids in the very same apartment where her and Henry became a fan. After home, you'll definitely see some throwbacks, yep. like Afghan blankets, the painted sun in Hannah's bedroom window, and Punky's old tree house is back. Yep, it is. 1984. We can see that Punky's tree house has been worked on, and we can see that all these people are playing in the tree house. The same person who created the original treehouse back in 1984 was brought back to create this new version. Yeah. big as it used to. Punky loves the classic. While trying to teach her kids a lesson. So now we can see here. <clears throat> okay. So now we can see here that Soleil Moonfry has been teaching her kids a lesson about dance books. In the, um, in the family car, I'm Punky sings along to Mania. 
So, so Lil sing along to Maniac, which is a song that was sung by Punky Brewster in 1984. While she sings it in the car. And not to when the young Punky sings the song in the original. And it looks like her dance moves haven't changed in over 30 years either. She's a maniac, maniac, I'm so old. You never forget your first kiss or Camp Kukaloo. In episode three, Punky reminisces with Cherry about her first kiss at camp. Do you remember when Jimmy kissed me at the kissing rock at Camp Kukaloo? Let's relive the moment together, shall we? Yeah, 1984. So we can see about Punky and Jimmy right here, and Punky's gonna kiss Jimmy right here by the kissing rock at the camp. Jimmy and Jimmy. Hmm. Evan looks familiar, right? Did any Seth Green fans notice who played Punky's online date? Fun fact. This is a full circle moment for Seth, who auditioned for a role in the original Bucky Brewster, and is now Soleil's real life bestie. I love Soleil. One of our favorite moments from the classic series is when Henry lets Bucky. So one of the favorite things about. In 1984, is that Henry took Punky to a Cubs baseball game, and also if you guys remember the episode, let me know. And gives her a hat. And gives just her like a hat, is, is just like the camera. Are you serious? And she and so Lil gave Izzy her kid right here, and gave her the same Cubs hat and the reboots. We told you there were going to be many familiar faces. We Margo already know. returns to make Izzy's dreams come true. And it seems like she's still living in the line. So if you guys remember that we know this character right here, Cherry Johnson, one of the best girls I have ever seen. So if you guys ever know who this is, also have you heard Margo and Kramer from the 1984 Punky Brewster? Snobby friend, blonde hair, pink dress. I hope you guys seen her in many of the episodes that you watch. So, and she made her, and the person who played her was Amy Foster. A person who kind of looked like her, but a column is similar to this. Just like she did when she was young. That's not so, we can see here, that was in 1984, and this is her right here that I talked about. So, if you guys remember her in the episodes you watched, you can you can you can write your comments down below in the in the comment section. Margo Kramer with the K. Look for my exercise tape. It'll be coming out soon. In episode seven, Ooh, yeah. Punky and the kids adding a little Izzy Flair to the treehouse, but just like when Henry and Punky's friends helped her in the original. And Punky's friends helped her in the original to build the original treehouse back in 1984. In general, you might know what all these characters mean and what their personality is, but I really love Punky Brewster. But there's one major little downside is that it's very complicated and it dedicates to all orphans who has been sad and try to find their mother. Unlike Punky, she has been going through several times of her power going on inside of her. You know what they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the treehouse? Note to self, always carve initials in your treehouse. And also, you can carve initials in your treehouse that you can build. Just like Funky Brewster. Today we finished building the treehouse. P B C J. Friends, We all remember the And we all remember this. This is one of the darkest things right here. So, if you guys remember that the young cherry 1984 has been trapped inside of a refrigerator and Alan and Henry are trying to help her. Alan Anderson was the person and Punky's another friend. In general, you think that this is gonna be the darkest episode ever, but it's all about helping 
and try to confront people. The episode when Cherry gets stuck in a refrigerator, but Cherry will never forget. You and eat pumpkin. all my yogurt, and you have an irrational fear of refrigerators. <laughs> There's good reason for that. How long did it take Punky Brewster to find a reason to throw an 80s themed party in the new show? Only nine episodes, but it was worth the wait. It's gonna be rad the max. 80s themed party. As you can see, Cherry's 22 open. Easter egg. If Headband. Is convinced that Izzy was basically Punky's twin, she dresses up as a young Punky Brewster and leaves no detail spared. Sun hair ties. Okay, so if we remember here that we can see that we got the 1984 Punky Brewster and the reboot 2021 Punky Brewster, Izzy, in general. So we can tell by both of these characters. The 1984 Punky Brewster has black hair and sun hair ties. And also, also right here in the reboot, Izzy doesn't have black hair, just like the 1984. But she has sun hair ties, though. And also... Also, Punky 1984 got a yellow shirt un under here. Well, Izzy 2021 doesn't, it's just blue. So we can see here that these hearts kind of look the same, but I think the 1984 Punky Brewster has a short one and a gray rim around it. In general, you might know. Let me know if you want to see more episodes of Punky Brewster. So let's get into Now, she used a 1984 Punky Brewster, supposed to have these red and green blue things. I don't know what that is. She has an ice cream decoration. While well, Izzy doesn't. Wait a minute, did I say ice cream? Oh my god. It has a white rim around it in 2021, and has a little ducky. Yeah, Miss Matt Sneakers, obviously. And Miss Matt Sneakers. Like the one Punky wore the original show? You bet. If she says Punky Power, I'm a straight up loser. So we know Punky Brewster's TV family, but did you know that this girl is actually Soleil Moonfry's daughter, Jagger? Take all the raffle tickets you want. There you go, free of charge. Keep walking, sister. Soleil Moonfry's name is French for Sun Moon. And you know sun moon. The sun theme throughout the show. First, in the always present sun in the apartment window, but also in episode 10, when Punky and Susan show each other their matching sun tattoos. Or nostalgic references is music to our ears. Mine symbolizes the music box you gave me when I was a little girl with the song about the sun. Punky's music box is the same music box from the original. So, here we go. So this is the part Matt was talking about earlier. If you haven't remember this episode, Fencer Hog I was talking about in general, Punky and her dog was trying to confront a person who tried to steal Punky's music box. This is called TC Finestra right here. A somewhat common but another character of the TV show in 1984 is Mike Fulton. It is a production of Fencer Hall. And that is Punky Power. <laughs> now that we've looked at all of the Easter eggs and throwbacks, I think we're going to sit back yes. and watch some Punky Brewster. Yes, we, we, we definitely will punk watch Punky Brewster. So, if you guys remember... That my 1984 was a little complicated, but I still like it. If you guys remember that other episode where Punky was trying to confront a bully, and she called, and she called, and the bully called her Flunky Moose, and also Punky was being up in the bathroom. It's somewhat common, but I highly legal use of this TV show, my 1984 in general, in the production of bullying, try to confront. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Let me know if you guys 
want to see more sitcoms that I can mm, describe and and uh, let me know if you want to watch Small Wonder again and me. And also, you can find Small Wonder on YouTube. And also, I hope you watch Small Wonder. Let me know if you want to make more Small Wonder scrapping videos. That are with our different episodes. Or more Punky Brewster. Or Webster. Or silver spoons. Uh, yeah, you can see me do that in the next videos. I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing that for I don't know. But I'll see you guys next time. Be kind to one another, and also do never bully, just like Punky Brewster. Actually, I'm gonna go watch Punky Brewster right now. Bye bye, Jacob's Creative Corner. You know what we do.